Hello students, welcome to Engineers Academy. Do hit the subscribe button if you are here for the first time. Now we are going to solve this problem from chapter 16. And this problem is related to the instantaneous center of zero velocity. And the problem says that if rod CD is rotating with an angular velocity of 4 radian per second, determine the angular velocity of rods AB and CB at the instant shown. So we are given the angular velocity of this rod CD in the counterclockwise direction, which has a magnitude of 4 radian per second. And we are required to find the angular velocity of link BC and the angular velocity of link AB. So these are the free body diagram of these three links. So that point D is fixed. And this has an angular velocity of 4 radian per second. So we can say that omega CD is 4 radian per second. Since this point D is fixed, then this point C will rotate in a circle about that point D. And the velocity of this point C will be tangent to the periphery of that circle. Or, or the velocity of this point C will be perpendicular to this CD. So we can say that the velocity of C is going to be in the horizontal direction like this. And the magnitude of this velocity will be equal to this. Uh, radius times the radius of that circle along which this point C is moving. So this radius which is the length of this CD times that uh, omega. So the radius is 0.5 so we can say this is 0 0.5 times 4. So this gives us 2 meter per second since this distance is in meter. This is in meter and this is in radian per second so the velocity will be in meter per second. So Vc is 2 meter per second. Similarly, now that same velocity is going to act here as well. So we can um, duplicate this velocity and we can put it here. So we will have that same Vc velocity here as well. So we can say that this is that same Vc which has a magnitude of 2 meter per second. And as we can see that when this rod CD will move in this direction, now uh, this BC will be pushed towards the left and since this point B is constrained to move uh, about this point A in a circular path so this point B will have the velocity in this direction and the velocity of this B will be perpendicular to this link AB since this point B is also move, revolving about that fixed point A so this point B will move in a circular path about that point A and the radius of that circular path will be this one meter. So the velocity of B will be perpendicular to this link AB. So we can show that velocity of B that velocity of B must be acting like this and this must be perpendicular to this. So now we can copy this or we can move this here so this will be the velocity of B. This is the velocity of B and the magnitude of this velocity of b will be equal to um, this length which is the radius of that circle along which this point b is revolving times the angular velocity of this link ab so if this um, point b is moving in this direction then uh, we can say that the velocity of this link AB, the angular velocity of this link ab will be in this direction that is in the clockwise direction so we can say that link ab is in the link AB is having velocity in the clockwise direction and that velocity of uh, B is going to be perpendicular to this link AB. So this is VB. Now we can write the, the magnitude of this VB equals to this length which is 1 meters times this omega AB. So we can say that VB is 1 times omega AB. So that is omega AB meter per second. So we can say this is omega AB. So, and as we can see that uh, since this point B, after some time T, this point B will move downwards and this point C will move in this direction. So initially, um, the link BC was like this and after some time T, this point C will move somewhere here and point B will move somewhere here like this. So the next orientation will be like this. So now if I, if I put this line on the top of this so as we can see that this link bc is having the angular velocity in the counterclockwise direction as well so we can say that um, initially this link bc was like this and after some time t it will be like this so link bc is having the angular velocity in the uh, counterclockwise direction so we can say 
that this is omega bc so this is unknown as well and this omega ab is unknown as well so now to find um, this omega bc since this problem is related to the instantaneous of zero uh, center uh, instantaneous center of zero velocity we have to find we have to look for this diagram link bc and we have to find the instantaneous center of zero velocity for vb and vc let me move this to somewhere here like this this is two meter per second now to find the instantaneous center of zero velocity uh, we need to draw two lines that should be perpendicular to this vc and vb respectively so now we can say that if i draw a line like this and if i draw one another line like this so the instantaneous center of zero velocity will be the inter intersection of these two point these two lines and these two lines must be perpendicular to these two velocities so we can say that um, this blue line is perpendicular to that vc and this blue line is perpendicular to that vb so this will be the instantaneous center of zero velocity now as we are given that this uh, link ab is making 30 degree with the horizontal so this is 30 degrees right so this is 30 degrees and if i draw a horizontal line here then this is 30 degrees and if this is 90 degrees then this angle is 60 degrees so this angle is 60 degrees so now we can say that if i draw a horizontal line here then this is that same vb so it is making 60 degree uh, with the horizontal so now as we can see that this is that vc uh, vc is acting along this line and this is vb so the angle between vc and vb is 60 degrees so this line is perpendicular to vb and this line is perpendicular to vc so if the angle between vc and vb is 60 degrees then this angle is 60 degrees as well so we can say that this angle is you you guys can always use the same method if you guys know the angle between the two velocities for which um, you guys are finding the instantaneous center so find the angle between those two velocities and you guys will have that same angle at the instantaneous center as well so so let's say this is my vc let's say if i copy this this is my vc and this is my vb so now if the angle between since we know that um, that vc is horizontal so that vc is going to act in the horizontal direction and this is vb so the angle between vc and vb is 60 degrees so this is 60 degrees and as we as we know that these two lines will always be perpendicular to these two velocities so now if i draw a line perpendicular to this vb and if i draw a line perpendicular to this vc then this angle will be is 60 degrees so we can say that this line is perpendicular to vc and this line is perpendicular to vb and the angle between vb and vc is 60 degrees then this uh, angle is 60 degrees as well so now if this is 60 degree this is vertical line this is 90 degree so we can say this is 90 degree then this is uh, 30 degrees since the sum of the angles of a triangle is uh, one, uh, 180 degrees so 60 plus 30 90 and this is 90 so now we know these three angles so we can say this is the instantaneous center so now for vb we can write that vb is equal to r of b instantaneous center times omega bc right now we think of that uh, at the instant this link bc is revolving about the instantaneous center and this point b is revolving about the instantaneous center in a circular path so we can always use that uh, velocity velocity equals to uh, r of b uh, r times omega so we can always use this r of b i f c into omega bc similarly we know the length of this um, bc link as well the length of this bc link is uh, 0 0.4 so we can write that this is 0 0.4 let me write that this is 0 0.4 meters so now uh, what will be r of b i of c so this will be the position vector from instantaneous center to r b and similarly we can write that um, the velocity of c is equal to r of c i of c into omega bc so r of c i of c will be a position vector from i of c to point c so we need to find this the length of this vector and the length of this vector so now we can use the science law uh, since we know this length and all the remaining three angles so we can say that um, this is r of b i of c 
so we can say that r of b i of c divided by sine of 90 degrees if we use the sine's last so the opposite angle is sine uh, 90 degrees and 0 0.4 divided by sine of 60 degrees so we can say that um, sine of 0 is 0 and sine of 90 is 1 so this is this is basically 1 so r of b i of c is 0 0.4 divided by sine of 60 so 0 0.4 divided by sine of 60 so this gives a 0 0.462 so 0 0.462 meters and similarly we can find r of c i of c so r of c uh, r of c i of c will be a vector from instantaneous center to that point c so this is r of c i of c and we can use again the uh, law of sines so we can say r of c i of c divided by sine of the opposite angle which is 30 degrees equals to 0 0.4 divided by sine of 60 degrees and similarly we can say that r of c i of c is equal to 0 0.4 sine of 30 divided by sine of 60 so this gives us 0 0.231 0 0.231 meters this is r of c i of c so now we know we see we see as a magnitude of this uh, 2 meter per second this 2 meter per second this uh, we have determined this already so we can use this equation so this equation will give us omega bc so using this equation we can say that we see is equal to r of c i of c which is 0 0.231 times omega bc and we see is equal to 2 meter per second so this is equal to 2 so we can say that omega bc is 2 divided by 0 0.231 so this will give us omega bc 2 divided by 0 0.231 so omega bc the angular velocity of that link bc is 8.658 radian per second and similarly we know that vb is equal to this so we can find vb now so vb is equal to r of b i of c r of b i of c is 0 0.462 times that omega b c so we will multiply this answer with 0 0.462 so this vb is vb is equal to 4 meter per second and now once we find vb we know that vb is also equal to omega ab so this means that vb is equal to omega ab is equal to 4 radian per second since this vb was um, this vb was 1 meter times omega ab so that is equal to vb and omega ab will have same magnitude so vb is equal to 4 radian per second so this is how we can find um, the instantaneous center of zero velocities and then we can find the angular velocities of link AB and link BC. So I hope all this discussion will help you in your learning and solving uh, the problems related to the instantaneous center of zero velocities. Let me know in the comments if all this helps in your learning. Do subscribe Engineers Academy for the solution of such more problems from Hibbler Dynamics Chapter 16.